tool and welcome to this video where I'm going over installation Stable Diffusion plugin for Adobe Photoshop. If you're not familiar with Stable Diffusion, it is latest version of the modules and algorithms that allowed us to convert text to image by utilizing deep learning. The Stable Diffusion is available for free download and you can install on your machine if you're interested. I have a video coming up how you can do this. But for many of us who does not have a time or a knowledge or maybe even powerful machine, it's very useful when we utilize the servers outside. And even this plugin supported local installations. In our tutorials, we're going to use it from creators. It's a dreamstudio.io. I will put it link below, which allowed us to access the API, the servers, and utilize the server. Uh, keep in mind, because it's the service, it will be pay some costs involved if using external servers. You maybe find somewhere free installations, which is fine, but keep it in mind that connection is required. And speak about these connections, we have two prerequisite required before we start installation. First, you want to go to dreamstudio.io, I will provide link there, and register if you're not yet done so. So right here you can see this is login string and I'm just going to log in with my Discord. After login in applications, notice how familiar this interface look. Something similar will be inside the plugin. But for us, most important, it's when we're going into properties. So we can go click on our image icon. We'll go to memberships. By the way, right here you can notice how much it's a cost. I just let you know it is about thousand image for ten dollars it is not bad because if I I'm using the mid journey and uh, I'm generate about 15,000 images and you can see for all the time when I was doing I have it 15,000 images for about uh, four or five months so it's about come up to approximately 3,000 images and I'm paying thirty dollars a month so if we look on the dream studio it's about price same or less it's actually very very competitive in this and again we're paying for uh supporting the servers supporting the administrations and bandwidth electricity and the other options what we needed here actually this options we will need required to go inside api key and we will generate our own api key so plugin can access to your account. Um, but how I said before, you want to create your account first. So when we need it, we can go inside and create this key. By the way, we are going to use the plugin created by Christian Contrail. And if you have uh, some ability to say, hey, thank you all what he done job because this is great plugin he created and I know a lot of creative was looking for this because it's simplified and make much much easy to utilize AI render power inside the Adobe Photoshop so this another one's prerequisite after you stop account you want going to this page I will put a link above it's christiancontrol.com and you want to go to AI ML in AI ML, you'll notice a link to his um, plugin. So you can download it directly from here. Or if you have already installed Adobe, and that's what I'm assuming you have if you install Photoshop, you can go to your Creative Cloud, Stock Marketplace, go to the Plugins area, type Stable Diffusion. We're going down to Plugins. And you can notice right here we have Plugin. So you can download it from direct website or from Creative Cloud desktop application. You decide to go directly from his website. It will take you to Adobe Exchange, where same you can download the plugin. All what you need to do, be sure you log into your Adobe account. You need to click on the where it says free. Let's click on that one. After it's registered as acquired, and it says you want to play install. So we go ahead and click on install which is still be opening our Creative Cloud desktop app. Okay, let's go ahead and now we'll click on a get, which installed a stable diffusion plugin. We'll go ahead and click OK. 
Notice it will support the uh, Adobe Photoshop 23.5 or later. So next, we already open our Photoshop. When Photoshop is open, we can go under plugins and you notice right here we have our stable diffusion installed. So let's go ahead and open. Next, you'll notice right here, it's asked for our API key. Because we already was in Drive Studio, let's create our new API key. It's be done by click on a button, create API key, and you notice it's created. I'm blurring those API keys uh, just for my own safety reason. <laughs> so let's go ahead, we'll copy, and you can notice right here, copy when not fully reveal. And now we can go inside Adobe Photoshop and paste our key here. After key is pasted, we can go ahead and click Save. You'll notice at the point we're going inside the plugin where we have a very similar and familiar interface. We have our prompt that we can type what we want to do. Prompt string which is about how closer or loosen it can be to the text we're typing, number of images created, how many steps can create higher, and let's think about permutations, how many times it can re-render. As well, we have the document size, which allowed us to create image specifically to the size we wanted. If, for example, you want to create background or other elements, and optional seed. As well, the new version, you can include image, which is nice because if you work inside of Photoshop and you want to modify something based on an image, now you can actually include this image inside your render. So let's go ahead and try what's happening. And we're going with an old house, middle forest. All options like you used before in, in a dream waiver is applied here as well. Okay, so for example, if I want it, I can type photorealistic or any other options you want it. Okay, the string prompt, I will leave it as default. Number of images we can generate, let's just try two. And I increase a little bit on the steps to about 70, so it will create a little bit better resolution. We can create different image and right now let's go with a little bit higher you can see 1024 is highest I think we can go I think 512 by 512 for right now will work all this we leave it as default and let's click button dream notice what's happened when we render on the back below we have it our images and we have it option set as a layer but we don't have it of course active document so we cannot we can save save as, or delete it also, if we're going inside the history, here you will have images that you created before. So let's go ahead and create new image um, document, and we're creating document. Let's go because 512, just for now to match what we have it by 512. And we're going now says set as a layer. There you go. And now we have the image inside the Photoshop set as an object, as a layer. This is a very nice and easy way to work with the images inside. Of course, the size is a little bit smaller, 512, 124. In this case, you can resize it. And resizing inside the Photoshop, we can go inside the image, image size. And if you resize, be sure you check in the resample and preserve details 2.0, its latest one. It's work very well to resize. You also can try resize with the newest things when you're going inside the filter, neural filter, and you can use it like super zoom or other options to enable um, kind of sizes and work with this image. Uh, personally, I prefer to use it gigapixels. The only problem is with gigapixel resizing does not going from inside the Photoshop because we do have it um, the noise and sharpening but no gigapixels here then I need to save it externally and work on this way resizing the outside the Photoshop application 
So another option, so you'll notice right here, we have it include images. Let's see what this one can do. Okay, so right here I have an image. I created this 512 by 512. We're going ahead and enable says include image. Also document center. And you know what? Let's go change something here. We're going to says which house inside shelves old books candles mystic magical dark win so i think that well will kind of describe what i wanted um prompt strings layer let's pop up a little bit because i want to kind of keep it intact we have it our size document set we don't worry about seed, include image, document, prefer, and image string. Let's go a little bit like 70, 80. And I think it's all. We'll just read. Okay, you also error come up because we have it, our document content selected. So let's go select on the selected layer. It's what we work right now currently with. And on Lotus, we have it the in paint mask and paint selection. So if I need, I can just select specific areas and work with this or document content if I select everything. But I think selected layer should work just fine. Okay, and let's go ahead, click Dream. Right now, let's take this image, send to our server, process it, and we'll see result very soon. Okay, so right here we have our result. Let's go ahead, preloaded layer. And you can see before and after. It definitely was working on this image. We can also try something different. So for example, we can make prompt less, to images let's go to increase steps make it better okay and we also image string just losing a little bit more let's go try again and see what's happened um, I was selecting this layer instead I should select one below so we'll see what's come up with already pre-render okay and you can see right here we have different images uh, definitely it is um, work different from image because that says quite a bit image strings loosen. So let's go back to this and just pop up and create one more time. See what we come up. Okay, there's our result. And you can see it's definitely come loosened with the image because we are set kind of prompt string, not so close. And we also most important right here, image string. It's how will this relate to the image and we have it all is different views for example it is have a color if you notice on this with the image it does utilize similar color position which is kind of very nice but it was in our world and i used this before when i for example need to select a specific color palette i used to select a different color just even blob of the colors in the area render and image was matching with those colors brightness and contrast so you can just generally even outline or shape it your image and render based on this which provide a little bit more accuracy I think in this case so let's look also on some advanced option and advanced option that will go us to the simpler it is reference to specific libraries and overall you can experiment if you want with this like different versions of the stable diffusion with new will be updated um, with libraries it's how well it will match your text you can also try experiment usually i found just default those versions will work excellent so and this is all about this plugin you can notice how it works well and let me know if you have any questions uh, with this plugin installations again just to let kind of emphasize uh, the plugin was created by christian Cantrell. And if you have any ability to say thank you or support him, it's greatly appreciated because I think it's a long awaited plugin for the creative people. So we can use this inside the Photoshop. It's much easier to utilize, very light plugin. And it's, I think it's work actually very, very good. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, put thumbs up and see if you like this video, please share with other people. Have a fun time.